This is what All In looks like. <laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. You may know Fantasia Press from such hits as Stephen King's very first limited edition. Fantasia Press did Firestarter back in the day, and Alex Berman of Fantasia Press has come roaring back onto the scene with all kinds of goodies from a press that hasn't published since like 1989. So it's, it's been a minute. And uh, if you recall, uh, I did an unboxing recently of a Philip Jose Farmer book called River of Eternity. And that was a, a trunk barn find from Fantasia Press. He found that he still had some signed slipcase editions and um, offered them up. So it's like a time capsule, like these books were lost in time. So you're getting a piece of history, a piece of publishing history, as well as a good book. Fun read. So I've been going into fantasy land more. I'm, I'm making my way into reading more fantasy, expanding my appetite for reading. And so when uh, Alex mentioned that he basically had an entire series that he found sitting there in, in some whatever wonderland of a warehouse he has, I jumped on it. So the first book in the series, it's uh, Alan Dean Foster's Spellsinger series. The first book was the signed limited edition, but it doesn't have the signature page. So he sold those at a discount. And then the other four in the series were trade editions. So I'm getting trade editions and a signed edition of an entire series, the Spellsinger series. Um, so I can't wait to get into that and have these on the TBR pile. And so they'll be all ready for me when uh, I want to go deeper into some fantasy reads or not, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But this is, this is the moment right now. And let's have this moment. First, let's check you with the magic duff bucket. What do you have for me today? Magic duff bucket. Oh, a Coke. Okay. Coke. You know, uh, Mike, Mike Muir once only wanted a Pepsi and then his parents had him institutionalized for it. So I realized maybe he should just ask for a Coke and he got in a smile. Coke and a smile, Pepsi institutionalized. So um, I was just in a mood for a little, and I'm going live tonight, so I don't want to, I'm not going to have a Duff Bucket drink, you know, and, uh, and then go live tonight with, this is like the angriest Coke I've ever poured. Look at that. It's angry. That's okay. That's that's okay. Oh, oh, it can be refreshing. A refreshing, zesty enterprise. So here it is. Here's the entire Spellsinger saga in this box from Bloomfield, Michigan, I believe. And um, uh, I'm in Illinois, so it didn't have to travel very far huge it's a huge and you know what i mean it's like crazy oh i didn't realize what i was doing to you over there in your land wherever you are you're rocking gently are you now on a cruise ship i'm your cruise director speaking and i think you should take rent the jet skis and jet ski with the dolphins that's what i would do if i was a cruise director is this really annoying the way it's shaking i don't know all right let's get into it oh it's uh there's a lot there's a lot in here okay so let's let's see these are two books these are two books and this is one book. So this is a slip cased, zip locked and slip cased. Um, now I don't know what series in, in the order this series goes in, but uh, we'll check it out. Oh, wow. So this is Spellsinger at the gate. Yes, yes. Alan Dean Foster, 
slip cased. Now, none of these are to be signed. And nice little end paper. Nice little end paper there. Alan Dean Foster. Um, I don't think there's any interior art. And uh, very cool, very cool. Look at that. ADF, Alan Dean Foster there. Same material as the slipcase. Nicely well-made book. Fantasia Press logo. Nice book. Nice book. Really well done. Slipcase well done. Here's the art. So I believe this, I believe this is the one that was missing the signature page. I believe that's the case. Not a hundred percent. Um, I mean, you got to understand I'm a newbie trying to get into this, right? So, uh, the time of the transference is the next one. This is also slip cased. The other ones are not. So I have two slip cased ones. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting one slip cased one. And, oh, Jeff, I hope you don't mind, but I couldn't locate a trade edition of Time of Transfer. So I submitted a signed boxed PC edition. Didn't even know I had one. Oh, that is, that's tremendous. That's really nice. Wow. Huh. That's, that's really generous. Wow, that's pretty cool. I thought it would be in the front. Wow. Wow, that was very generous. So I got a signed slip cased one that, oh, that, that's way beyond generous. Here's the dust jacket art. Very cool. Uh, I am critically low on shelf space. critically low. All right, let's see what else we got. Um, so this is, and I'm digging the Ziploc bags. If you buy anything off of me, you're getting a Ziploc bag. The Moment of the Magician, Alan Dean Foster. So these are the trade hard covers, or some people say hardbacks and they're wrong. Uh, nice thing is the material feels the same. These editions feel exactly the same as the signed ones. Obviously, they're gonna be missing the signature sheet. Dust jackets are in great shape. And, uh, you know, for, for being sitting around for so long, they're like brand new, totally brand new books. Uh, two more to look at. Two more. It's a whole collection in one shot. That's what I'm talking about, being all in. If you were wondering what that intro was about. Cover painting by Romas. Romas. All right. Two more books. Two more. This is The Day, the day of the Dissonance. And I got to say, there's something you got to love about fantasy art all right well this this is uh, reflecting all that stuff is is so cool that's why michael whalen with um the dark tower was so popular same material like it feels like this set was all published at once i don't know if it was oh what the heck so i got this dust jacket and a bonus dust jacket how did that happen how did they, how did I get two dust jackets? That's pretty wild. Okay. That's cool. Who doesn't want two dust jackets? If you can't have a slip case, have two dust jackets. And this looks badass. The pads of the preambulator, right? Preambulator. Oh, perambulator, the pads of the perambulator. It's not, it's time for the percolator, which is what I thought it was. 
This has one dust jacket. I'll show you that. It's time for the perambulator. It's time for the perambulator. And I got to say, uh, one thing that Alex did, which was really cool, is he sold these trade editions for the same price they were listed for in 1980-something or other. $17. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. So right now, I'll put the link in the description how to get a hold of uh, Fantasia Press. Uh, right now, all my information comes from being on the fans of uh, Fantasia Press um, Facebook page. That's that's where all my info comes from. And he does links there. And then we it's very back in the day. Like, you know, when Fantasia Press used to do publishing, it used to be through direct mail. You'd get the catalog. You'd have to check your selections on a sheet and send it back. And that's how you put your order in. Or you called. But you, you had those two options. There was no intranet. There was, no, there was none of this uh, uh, cyber space. And, uh, and so when Alex is back on the scene, he's got a pretty nice website going, of course. But he's still doing things very informally. He's like, hey, email me your order. I'll get it together for you. And, you know, it's still very much uh, personal. No bots involved is what I'm saying. So uh, fans of Fantasia Press Facebook page is the place where you're going to get your information. And I think they missed a golden opportunity to spell fans with a PH. Hey, you know, that's what you would have got if Beef Daddy set up that page. I'm not saying whoever set up the page did a bad job. They're, they're doing a great job. All, all do all props to whoever set that up. But I'm just saying, fans with a PH would have been fun with a PH. So that's this. I uh, hope you liked this. You're going to get more of this. And um, I'm going to post this. And, and other people can see, uh, you know, well, that's how you saw it. Duh, right? I got to get my time loop all straightened out because I'm talking to future people from the past, from the way back past. So check it out. Hope you enjoy. I don't know if fantasy or sci-fi is your gig, your, your thing. I hope it's mine. Uh, I'm going to get into these and uh, do some reviews uh, coming up to the future. If we're talking about the future, I hope. I hope whatever you're doing in the future, you're staying frosty. It turns out you don't have to call the fire department when your cat gets in your Christmas tree. You just have to take your cat out of the Christmas tree and it doesn't really need to involve any municipality or any sort of exterior, you know, outside the home organization. You just take your cat out of the tree. You can handle your own cat, hopefully, as was the case with Milo stuck in my tree for Christmas. Um but you know what if your cat is stuck in a tree maybe check out this other video in the meantime or subscribe and get other nonsensical nonsensical nonsense